Hey, okay, so today is 2.98. I want to talk to you about what I just did, just because I think it's so powerful to, like, share this practice that I do and that I have been doing for quite some time. I don't do it, like, every day. It's not a daily practice. It is more a practice that I do once in a while, when, especially when fears and wounds come up over money. And so I wanted to talk about, about this because it is so powerful uh, it's such a powerful tool such a powerful practice so I just sat with myself and I wrote a letter to money I love having conversations around money just because to me I see that I see like me and money as a relationship and I believe that money and yourself is a relationship and so the way you treat money, the way money, you feel that money treats you, that is like very goes hand in hand in how, you know, like, in just, okay, I'm losing my words. Oh, why can I not talk? Um, okay, wait, let me start over. See, perfectly imperfect. Um, this is what you get when you watch me and the IG lives. You get to kind of see this like side that I'm live and that I fuck shit up and I'm just going to put my hair back because it's really annoying me. It's just doing its own thing. Okay. I don't know what's going on here. Um, okay. So I see like money as a relationship like that to me. It's like, it's the way I kind of see it. If you don't see it that way, then that's all good. And, but money is a tool and money isn't like I've said it before. Money is something that is in our everyday lives. It's something that we deal with. It's like the way I'm just like not having it with my hair today. Okay. It's a way that we navigate the world right now it's like it's kind of like we use money to pay our bills we use money to buy goods etc etc so I love sitting down and having a conversation with money I love writing a letter to money and I usually I started I did this in the first bit when I first started money work and it was just to kind of get clarity. So if you've never written a letter with money, like it's something I do recommend. Um, if you feel that is right to you, you can write a letter. You can like, you know, do an audio voice note if you feel like talking to money. And it just, it's a nice way to get really clear of like how you feel about money, how you feel like money has shown up or not shown up in your life. Um, if you look at money as if it's your partner, like what would you say about money? Like, how do you feel about money in that way? And it just gives you clarity of where you stand with money and, and basically the relationship you have. And so I did this then, but then I've been doing it uh, a few times here and there since just because it gives me clarity of when I, where I'm at, but also like getting my thoughts and my fears out of my head and onto a piece of paper just to like really like get that out. Because sometimes it can just stay in there and it just want to release it and so by writing this letter it it gives me clarity and then it, I kind of like put in like the direction I would like for this to go and I pay attention very much when I'm writing I'm paying attention of what I'm saying I'm paying attention to the words that I'm writing down, I'm paying attention to the wounds, I'm paying attention to the fears. So when you do decide to like sit down and write a letter to money, like, and if you've never done it before for the first time, you want to just like say what you want to say. You don't, don't overanalyze what you're saying, just let it out. Um, and then after like, if you've done already a lot of money work and you are very much self-aware of your relationship with money, and this is where you can become like more consciously aware of what you're writing down. And so if you like paying attention to how you're writing things down, like what words come out, like, are you saying like you need something or are you like kind of coming from a place of like a lack like that, like you need money, you know, or how can you shift it into like, you know, more like money is there to support you and that you would love for money to show up. And so paying attention to the wording is super key of like what you write. And then also like 
when you kind of go towards the end of a letter, you want to shift your perspective a little bit and being like, okay, like, how would I love for money to actually like show up for me? Like, how would I love for money? Like how, like, what kind of relationship would I love to have with money? And as you shift that, making sure that the words and the verbiage you're using, like paying attention to what you're using and you know, make sure that there's like no sense of like desperation and that it's more of a sense of like support and desire and paying attention to the tense of the verb. So if it's like very much in the future tense, shift it to the present because you want to embody this as it's in the now, right? If it's, if you're always writing something like I, you know, like something that is always in the future, then you won't be bringing it into your present because then you'll be living in the future. So you want to like kind of really work through that. Um, yeah. And it's like, I'm just like, I was looking at my notes. Yeah. So that is like kind of how I go about it. And the way I see this is like, I, it's for me, it opens a door to communication with money. Cause it's like, like I said, I see like me and money as we're in a relationship and the, the biggest foundation of any relationship is, well, trust um, and communication, and then there's love. So communication is important. So that this is how I communicate with money. I, I don't do this, like I said, daily, but I do it this way. And then like the other way I communicate with money is that when it does come in, I celebrate it. When it leaves my account or when I use it for investments, I celebrate that. When I use it to pay bills, I celebrate that. So I'm very much aware of like the coming and goings of money. And so that is how like you build that communication. It doesn't mean you need to sit and chat with money every day, but if that's something that would help you, then maybe you can, you can try that. And so, yeah, so today I sat down and I like wrote a letter and basically it was just around the time. It's just like, now I'm in this like shift in my life and there is like a lot of investments that are happening for the month of December. Um, and the foresee like the concrete foreseeable money that I know for sure for sure is coming in, it doesn't it doesn't balance. And so it is making my human a little uncomfortable. Even though my higher self, my soul is like, You got this, you'll be fine. My human is like, Ah, I don't see the evidence, I don't see the proof. And so this is where it's like kind of letting that out on paper and being like, I feel like you know, my f biggest fear is that, you know, money won't show up. So it's like writing, writing it in a letter, being like, it won't show up when I need, when I need you or when I desire you for these investments. And so it is acknowledging that fear and really looking at that and sitting in with that fear. And so, and then it's like kind of shifting it, like, shifting the narrative and shifting the story at towards the end of like after I wrote everything out the way I kind of shifted is I was like okay like we're in it together with all these investments it's me and you so you know I know you're there I trust you I believe in you so let's just like make it happen together and so that is like how I shifted this like kind of like from a place of a fear to being like no, we're in this together and communicating it that with money. And then you can also turn around to be like, okay, like show me you're on board, like give me a sign. Um, and this is where like I love playing with the universe and like asking the universe for signs to, you know, kind of like confirm the ego, confirm the human side of me that it's like, okay, like it's okay. I'm okay. It's not the end of the world. Um, to like yeah ease the ego so yeah i wanted to like kind of explain that because i just did it and i know this video was like a little bit mumbo jumbo everywhere just because like my my brain is like hmm. um so let me know if you appreciated this information if you like loved it uh feel free to like share the video or even comment save it uh and if you have written a letter to money how has that worked for you like or if you haven't is this something that you would love to try uh just let me know 
and uh so yeah so i'm gonna like end it with this and then also lastly i do have my money program that is starting in january so if you are feeling called to that this is a one of, like this is like one of the works i do with my clients but we also go like a lot deeper and it is it's one-to-one -one, so it is very much catered to the individual to you so if you're feeling that send me a message i would love to chat more about it with you and other than that, hope you're all having a great rest of your day. Whenever you watch this video, it is snowy here in Tofino, which is our first snowfall of the year. Um, so it's kind of pretty. And then I just hope it melts by tomorrow because that'll be just fabulous. Um, I love snow, but for a short period of time, which is funny because the move I'm making, the big move is going to bring me somewhere where a little more snow <laughs> But it's okay. It's okay. There'll be activities that I can occupy myself in that are fun and light me up as a projector. So, yeah. So that's it. Um, I will speak to you all tomorrow.